When you take an Adderall, do you feel it coming on like caffeine or is it just invisible? It's, in it's, very, it's very different from caffeine and it's not, mm. it's not really energizing or it doesn't, doesn't really give you a high. It just, you don't feel like crap. Mm. You know, it, normally like a normal person going to a normal job, right? They're not, they don't feel good, right? They, they're just grinding. They're just forcing mm. themselves to do things that they don't care about. And so yeah. without Adderall, that is how life is for me uh, much of the time with, with doing things like, you know, editing and preparing shorts. I'm just, I feel like someone working in a mine, right? It's just very unsatisfying. And then I take the Adderall and it's, it's okay. I'm able to see the benefits. I become like a normal person. Like I, I'm able to see the benefits of the grind that I'm participating in and I'm able to regulate my behavior. So I'm doing what I want to do, which is, you know, I want to share what, what I say on here with a bigger audience. And so I'm able to do what I want to do. I'm able to live up to my values. I'm able to follow through like a normal person who weighs up, you know, rewards and, and prices as opposed to being so compulsive that I just, you know, can't stick to anything that's onerous. Well, how do you procure your Adderall? Do you use a sort of domestic channel or are you still taking the, um, the uh what's it called monophenol route so I, I have no i have i don't follow the modafinil route i i did investigate it but yeah. like modafinil is at a the lowest level of prescription so that's why it's relatively easy to obtain overseas uh but i i i obtain adderall through a conventional route i've got uh, you know, a medical agency and i have you know, online consultations with them and they stay in touch with me. And then I go to pharmacy. And so I, I spend about uh, approximately $160 a month for my Adderall. That, that includes the, the medical consultations and the actual pills themselves. So 160 a month mm -hmm. for pills and consultation. Mm -hmm. Now, did you do this consultation online? Yes. Okay. That's, you know, that's the business that I'm in. That's my job. Okay. Well, it's a uh, great business. You're helping tell, people like me bring bring the gospel to the world. T telemedicine, yeah, yeah, it's a big thing. Uh, hopefully, it's a big thing. It's but, fantastic. Uh, I love it because yeah, it because uh, it's so much of a hassle, particularly as an adult getting diagnosed with ADHD in the in the real world. You know, face to face medicine. It's just an endless process. Takes an enormous amount of time and an enormous amount of money. Like, you know, more than five thousand dollars and you know months of time. But now that you've got telemedicine, you can get diagnosed in. 36 hours and you know get 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 a prescription yeah the reason i don't really like to go to the doctor is the damn waiting room with all the fucking lepers in the, in the waiting room and Breathing then having to wait mouth. like for an hour yeah. you know yeah, your your just... appointments at 3 30 but it takes an yeah. hour to see the doctor and then doctors spend about 60 percent of their time like just plugging into the computer because of barack obama passing those mandatory electronic medical records and so the doctor yeah. has to spend more time you know, ticking off boxes in the computer than actually trying to help you. You know, I met a doctor once and he, he was, he was on one of those strong antidepressants because he said he hated his job so much. Yeah. He couldn't stand it. And he needed antidepressants to get through the day because it was just abject drudgery of filling out paperwork and talking to people who've Googled something online and they're going to question everything that you say, you know, it was just it painted this picture of just abject misery, you know, and this is the profession every anxious Jewish mother wants to push their son into. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the quality of <coughs> so many jobs has significantly declined. I mean, mm. being a doctor used to be, you know, like being a prince, you're a prince yes. among men, but now, yes. You know, doctors overwhelmingly work for large bureaucracies, right? Very few of them can actually, you know, make it with their own private practice. Yeah, you're supposed to be on the golf course at three every day, you know, and you have put, you put in nine holes before going home. Now, those are the days. Uh, I, I get I get downstairs and then I just feel weak and I just don't feel like doing it. So, but yes, uh, it will I'm thinking happen. if you just... had an Adderall that you might get the strength to. Go do it. Aren't you about to commit a felony, Luke? 